det är stunning. Do you need water to cleanse your palate? No, I'm fine. <laughs> oh. Really? Yeah. What is a sachatorte, you may ask? It's a rich chocolate cake layered with sweet apricot jam and topped with a decadent chocolate glaze. A dream come true for every chocolate cake fan. But is the hefty price tag of 9 euros 90 for a slice of chocolate cake at the famous Sacha Hotel really worth the hype? We're not just tasting the original, oh no. We've got contenders from local bakeries and even a sneaky supermarket challenger. Can a budget-friendly cake be just as good or even better? Let's find out. So we have the Sacha Torte, the original one, which is 9 euros 90. Looks stunning. I mean, if you look at it from the side, the biscuit to chocolate ratio is perfect. But I have to say, the Kur Konditorei Obola looks pretty similar. If I take off this flag of the Sacha cake, I wouldn't be able to really say which one is which. Both of them have this clean cut at the top. And here, these two look pretty imperfect. So you have the 5 euro 60 Aida slice here. It looks messy because the chocolate ganache is melted. I think it looked off. pretty okay in the store itself, but got a little bit misplaced during transportation. Yes, but that's also the thing, you know, you're taking a cake to go. So the transportation, you need to yeah, but take it I into think, account. I think that's because of the gooey consistency test right it, it looks much more juicy than the other ones I have yeah to it say. does have a lot more jam inside yeah. and if i paid more for this cake instead of uh, like compared to that cake yeah. i would be like hey why and last but not least <laughs> we have the one from the supermarket so it's, it's a sacha cake in a rectangular shape it has one layer more actually than the other ones also the ganache it's not evenly coated with chocolate but for the price of three euros and 80 cents and not bad right they're gorgeous and we will do a blind tasting we can figure out if the sacha torte is really that delicious that it's worth the nine euro and 90. okay let's go feed me some cake so let's get started ah it's soft it's sweet chocolatey apricot jam for me it tastes like a standard sacha cake good one i have nothing to compare it against it could be the cheapest one but i'm not sure let's go for the next one huh so mm. this one is much softer less sweet I love this one. This one is stickier. I think this one is Aida. Oh. Do you need water to cleanse your palate? No, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> so this one wow this one was different so you can really taste the chocolate ganache at the top so it's either sacha cake or obola i don't know yet but it has a really rich chocolate flavor which i really enjoyed but i can't tell you if it's sacha or obola but you know it's not aida or the the cheaper one <laughs> i'm pretty sure it's either obola <laughs> or sacha <laughs> let's try the last one um. This one was good. I think this one was the Obola and the one before was from Sacha. Got it right? No. Obola was the chocolate. Obola was where you said it's it's from Sacha Hotel. Really? Yeah. I have to say the one from Obola was really nice. Yeah. It has this rich, I mean, you also do a blind taste, but. My turn, my turn. Let's go. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. The chocolate ganache is like soft. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so it's probably the, the Ida or or the one from the supermarket. Mm -hmm. And I can have somehow taste egg. I'm pretty it's sure very there's, eggy. There's egg in it, but yeah. Otherwise, yes, yeah, sweet. Yeah, it's either the one from the supermarket or it's from Ida. Okay, let's go next one. Oh my god. Mmm. I didn't even have to bite it. <laughs> oh my god, that was really good. And yeah, the chocolate ganache was a little firm. It had like a proper chocolate flavor. Mm -hmm. Um I'm not sure. It's either the one from the Saka Hotel or it's uh, Obala. Because these are the twos, I think, the ones we already saw, you know, like... What's your guess? Um, I'll say it was Obala. Okay, next one. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> this tastes like a birthday cake. 
<laughs> homemade by Pura. <laughs> no, actually, it doesn't taste homemade. You know why? It has a very artificial flavor. So, I think I need water. Which one do you think it is? Yeah, it has to be the Billa one. Okay, uh, you think that's the Billa one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was very like the jam had a, a tin, like uh, artificial flavor. For me, too sweet. Yeah. Hmm. Ah. Mm. One eternity later. So? I like the other one better. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I have a feeling this again had a very eggy flavor to it. Like the aftertaste. It is more sugar. I, I taste like sugar more than chocolate. Mm -hmm. I don't taste chocolate. Yeah, you know, the, the other one that I had, yeah. which I believe is the Obola cake. Um, I took the first bite, the ganache, when I bit into it. It was chocolate, mm -hmm. you know, I tasted chocolate, not sugar. So I have a feeling this is Sakhatwata because I'm pretty sure it's like... 100 points. Really? So definitely <laughs> I have to say when I had this one, I said it's a Saha cake because it tasted much more high quality than yeah. any Saha cake I had before. Because I know the cakes from Ku Konditorai Obra, they are really good, but I've never had their Saha cake. So when I had it the first time, right now, I thought it would be the, the Saha. Because it was so origin. flavorful. It was so flavorful and it felt so premium because it has this chocolate flavor. If you compare these two to each other, the Kur Konditorei Obola is, is the winner. It's the winner! And it's for half of the money almost. Um, you get a better tasting cake. You don't course. have to wait in line. Actually, today well, there was no line. Oh, but, okay. <laughs> but normally <laughs> when we pass by, I went up quite early, but normally there is a line. And these two... <laughs> what? What are they doing here? I mean, the, the <laughs> supermarket one, you definitely taste. taste. It feels cheap. It feels artificial, as you said. It's it's not really flavorful. It's not Saha. And the Aida cake has a unique flavor to it. Because I, I wouldn't say it's bad. It's not bad. But it's, it's much more juicy and yeah. jammy and you also tasted more egg in this one so it could explain yeah. why it's more juicy. It's a good chocolate cake because yeah. the ganache on top is not the same as on these two. These ones have like a firm ganache, you know, you bite into it and you feel the the breaking of the yeah. ganache in your mouth. So definitely if you want to have your first Saha cake, but you don't want to pay 9 euros 90, try the one from Cool Conditorai Obola because yeah. I think that's, you know, that's a flavor bomb. And all in all, sorry, a much better experience. That's a big piece. But... That's true. I mean, the cheapest one is this one, but don't 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 try it if you don't have to it's a it's a good one if you want to bring it over to a friend that you don't like just bring, <laughs> just bring this one but if you want to enjoy it yourself and you want to have a great time go for this one so thanks for watching guys thank you very um, much i hope you found this video helpful go get yourself a sacha tuata if you haven't tried it yet and we'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs> bye well, well. Are we gonna eat all of them? Mm, no, we're still filming. <laughs>